Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Here are three good athletic core exercises you could do, just all body weight. Find a little bit of an area and let's get started. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. For these, we're gonna work for three to four sets. You would go 10 reps each. This is called a side plank reach through. So I have my feet staggered. I'm trying to reach under as far back as I can. Trying to keep that arm that I have supported under me so the elbow, want to kind of keep that elbow tucked in so you don't put uh, pressure and impingement on the shoulder. And as I reach through, I'm just trying to breathe out and reach under. If you notice where we rotate on this, we're rotating from the thoracic area, but look at my hips. I'm rotating actually also from the hips. So there it's creating alignment as far as teaching the body how to rotate. So it's working on that transverse or that rotational movement, which is what we use in sports. Great for being able to just teach the body how to rotate and using the core to do it. Here we come down into a static uh, squat position. So I'm just stationary, getting the legs to bend a little bit on that front leg, keeping that knee wide, and then just maintain nice tall posture alignment, open up that diaphragm, hands up, um, and then being able to rotate. So there I'm rotating a little bit through the hips, but a little more now through the thoracic area. Again, with sports, it's a lot of rotational movements, a lot of transverse movement. So we want to be able to make sure we're teaching the body how to create what we call anti-rotation of where to rotate, when we need to stabilize, how it contracts, a lot of functions that go through. A lot of times people get lower back pain because they're not creating the right types of movements for their, uh, their core training. Here I'm going down in from an inchworm. Just think of um, a tall plank, so the hands and the feet like a push-up position. Keeping the feet wide, and all I do is I just alternate arm and leg, pausing for one to two seconds. As I do that, I want to make sure I'm not rotating from the hips now. So again, that anti-rotation, teaching the core muscles how to maintain stabilization, how to fire those muscles without rotating on that one. Thanks for joining me, and please join me again soon, and uh, click like below.